Princess Casserole here, and I am here with another jewelry jar on jarring. Um, this jar was $5.99 at um, Salvation Army. I did not get this one on sale, so I paid full price for it, and um, I... I wasn't sure what would be in this one. This one looked to be the better out of the two, honestly. Um, and this one was $5.99. The other one was more money than it. It was uh, like $7.99. But I figured it was worth the price of the surprise and the video. So, you know, for $5.99, I, I will pick them up if... Even if I don't see anything that I am crazy about, just because, you know, it's worth it at that price if, if you happen to find one nice thing in there. So, it's all about your, your, tolerant, your risk tolerance, you know? So, I did see this in the top. And... It almost looks like opalite. I was curious to like, oh, is this just like pearls where the covering came off? But I don't think that's what it is. I think this is actually like an opalite color. Um, not color, but an opalite. And opalite is a man-made glass. And I'm not I'm not a hundred percent if that's what this is or not, but it is. I mean, it's it's glass. I just don't know. But the top here kind of looks like it, and there's pearls, and looks like there might just be couple tiny pearls missing and some beads but I can I can fix that and it is not marked at all oh, my other light is dying so hopefully oh, this light is good enough to film in here so that is really nice and it's heavy and uh, I should be able to fix the clasp and this is a foiled stone and it's really pretty I don't see any markings or anything um, this kind of reminds me of yeah no markings anywhere the park lane stuff that my mother used to sell So it's pretty. It's a pretty um, sapphire color. And there was this in there. Let's see where the... Oh, and it's got a rollover clasp. Let's see. So, I think it is vintage. It really doesn't have any... Um, finish wear it or anything and it's a cool link pattern so this is actually pretty nice I like this even though it's not marked or anything and then this necklace which looks kind of 90s to me I think and it's got the the barrel clasp I remember these from the 90s I think I'm gonna put it in my 90s 80s, 90s, I think more 90s though. Um, bag. Um, hook fast. Regular US patent. And it is a fire, firefighter. I'm guessing this is a belt. Uh, belt, uh, you know, belt hook. 
You know what I mean. <laughs> and there is a shell earring. That's pretty. The earrings in these things, you just, you never know. There probably is no match. That is different. So dichroic glass pendant. Oops. <laughs> Good things. These are hardies we've discussed before. These colors are so different. I have not seen one that looks quite like this before. I don't know what this is. Oh, I think it's like, can't we say it goes in lapels or something like that wounded bird one that is something for the military I would imagine um, here let me give you a better look at some of this other stuff while I have us zoomed in I kind of love this and everything's in pretty good shape too because a lot of times these speed caps they are completely worn away by verdigree little snowman I'm going to put that aside for my aunt I need to get on her stuff I'm supposed to be making her so, there is one set of earrings and then, oops, one broke, but hopefully I can figure out something else to do with these because they're pretty neat. So, I think I might be able to reuse those. What does that one say? Direction one. Interesting. Lancaster Junior Senior Prom. Uh, New York Masons pin. I think that's the Masons. And the flag with the Mary, Virgin Mary. This one is actually quite nice. So it's got a nice little detail on the lobster claw, claw clasp. Uh, let's see. And it's got hang tag. Oh, it's Monet. Looks like it must be a newer Monet piece. But it's heavy and it was pretty neat. So it's one of these like pearl necklaces. Um, there's really not a lot of wear or anything. It's pretty long. A pearl's in a cage. Despite all my rage, I'm still just a pearl in a cage. So, that's nice. Single earring. Oh, look at this. I think my husband needs this. That's fun. America bracelet. How fun is that? This is a very patriotic jewelry jar. And these are a pair. They're quite pretty. Just a pair of earrings flying. This is adorable. 
It is a sand dollar, obviously. I don't know. I mean, this feels like just like an actual sand dollar. That was gilded. I think it actually might be. It's in pretty good condition. It's like super light. So. That's kind of cool. I like that. And the USA pen. Um, Virgin Mary. And a broken earring. And... Hmm. Another religious pendant? Ooh, that's pretty. I wonder... It feels like glass. Really nice. Very pretty. I wonder what it was on. This looks like silver. I don't... Can't make out... Any markings right now with, um, dirt on it, but... We'll put it aside. America. So this is not marked or anything. It's in pretty good condition though. And then there are no missing rhinestones. That is nice. And here is an owl. This is pretty. Oh, let's see. I do have my loop. It looks like it says 800. It's really, really hard to read. Yeah, you guys are not going to be able to see this. But, it is really pretty with the enamel work and everything. It's the back side on the filigree. I think there's a word for that too. Enamel on filigree. So that is very, very nice. So, this isn't bad actually. It's, um. Oop, I am super zoomed in. It's really substantial. And it's got a lobster claw. And it's in really good shape. That's. that's nice. Maybe these are earrings. Is the other one an earring? No. Yes. These are earrings. Nice. I like those for earrings. Those are pretty. Ooh, a fan. No marking, but that is lovely. Oh, I, 
a a magnolia. I'm not marking or anything. <laughs> a little wooden heart. Just a random wooden heart. Okay. I had to charge my light. It was getting dark. So this is a love my dog. I love my rescue dog. With different doggies. Um, it's got things inside. Rai Rai. RY RY looks like stainless steel. So it's got all different kinds of uh, of dogs, dogs, and Santa, the Santa pin. They're kind of the old old style of cufflinks. Nope, no marks on these. Oops. Oh, and I think we have two of these. I think so. I think so, but maybe it just fell back in. We do have two of these rhinestones. Two of those. They're not in the greatest of shape. I do not see it. I might have just fell back in. Uh, clip on earrings. They look kind of disgusting. Oh, well, that's pretty. No markings on it or anything, but that's kind of lovely. I like that. Another pin. USA. Another one. And then we had two of these angel coins. And so then there are two of these. Shake Lee one one percent club. Nineteen eighty one. I don't know what that is. No markings. A little brooch. Two of these. Very pretty. Blood donor pin. Both both of these two. Let's see. I'm surprised it's not marked. They're nice. They look like they're silver. But I have both of them, so that's good. Really nice condition, no wear. Any markings or anything. But it's the moon with a little galaxy. Cute! I like that. I like galaxy stuff. 
I I have no idea what that is or that. I don't think I want to know. Yes, look at that. I was jealous. Um, Thelma had found some jewelry like this, and I was kind of jealous because. Patriotic jewelry was really popular in like the 50s and like like wartime and after wartime and I always like that look so I love those oh, Where'd I put my loop? Nine two five ATI nine two five Thailand. So if I can't find the other one, I will put with my scrap silver. I thought I saw one of these, but it was gold. It is. I think that's on purpose? Would anyone wear gold and silver? And it's just a shell. Which is cool. Listen to your heart. It will lead you exactly where you are, where you need to go. Hm. That's a nice sentiment. Um, just a single purple crystal. This one is marked. You guys probably aren't going to see it because it is pretty tiny. That is really pretty. That's purple stone. So, there are some things in here. I definitely think I got my money's worth on this one. I love this fan, and this was cute. You know, it'll be a nice addition to a package. And this, I love. Those little seed pearls and everything. It's just so pretty. And of course, I think this one actually these two may be some of my favorites. And the Christmas earrings were nice. They don't seem to be missing any rhinestones. The Monet necklace. Very pretty. And that doesn't seem to be missing any rhinestones either. And I do love the patriotic jewelry. None of the rhinestones are missing. Which is very nice. Um, we got some silver earrings, even though they don't match. We'll put them aside in the scrap silver. Um, there are some pretty costume jewelry pieces. Here it is. I do have the two closing eye style earrings right there so thank you very much for watching this jewelry jar on jarring and this time it was actually a legit jar i didn't get it in bag form this time um, if you enjoyed this video please subscribe i do a lot of these types of videos and we learn a lot in these um, please like this video if you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up and also comment below on anything that I might have not realized was awesome or something you have oops something anything you might have more information on um if you're gonna tell, tell me to put the pearls on my on my teeth to know if they're real I don't do that <laughs> until until I clean it because you. So, um, 
but I do appreciate the information because that was something I didn't know at first. And I will see you in my next video. Have a great day, everyone.